let's talk about ionic bond strength. While the transfer of electrons forms ionic bonds, their strength depends on several key factors. First is electronegativity difference. Then we have electrostatic force. And lastly, ion size and lattice energy. Let's break these factors down to understand how they influence ionic bond strength. Ion charge is the most important factor. It makes around 70% of ionic bond strength. For example, magnesium oxide has a much stronger bond than sodium chloride due to the higher charges. And potassium oxide has a stronger bond than potassium chloride because the overall charge is bigger. So the higher the charge, the stronger the bond. Next, we have ion size and lattice energy. It makes around 25% of ionic bond strength. Smaller ions allow the nuclei to get closer, increasing lattice energy. For example, lithium fluoride has a stronger bond than potassium fluoride. Even though both are group 1 fluorides, lithium plus is smaller than potassium plus ion, so the bond will be stronger. Lastly, we have electronegativity difference. It makes around 5% of ionic bond strength. Even though the electronegativity difference drives electron transfer, it has a minor effect on bond strength compared to ion charge and lattice energy. It mainly influences the polarity, which is more critical in covalent bonds. Let's look at a few examples and adapt these rules. We have five compounds and let's arrange them from the weakest ionic bond to the strongest. First, you want to look at the ion charge. All anions have charge of minus one. However, cations have different charges. Sodium has the smallest charge of plus one, then magnesium with plus two, and aluminum has the highest charge of plus three. Next, let's look at ion sizes. For cations, aluminum is the smallest one, then magnesium, and lastly sodium. For anions, fluoride minus, then bromide minus, and the biggest one is iodide minus. So in order of increasing the bond strength, sodium iodide has the weakest ionic bond because of the smallest charge and the largest ion sizes. Then sodium bromide and sodium fluoride may have the same overall charge, however fluoride has a smaller radius. Next is magnesium fluoride because of a charge size. And the strongest ionic bond is in aluminum fluoride the smallest ions and the highest overall charge. Let's look at the next example and use the same principles. The strongest ionic bond is an aluminum oxide because of the highest charge. Next is calcium oxide for the same reason. Calcium and oxygen both have the oxidation state of plus two and minus two. To compare sodium bromide and lithium chloride, we look at their ion sizes because they have same overall charge. Both lithium and chloride are smaller than sodium and bromide, so the bond will be stronger. If you just use the same principles, you can always deduce which ionic compound will have a stronger ionic bond. So thanks for watching and see you in the next one.